All right, the golden gun. All right. Welcome back everyone. As you can see, I made the trip out to the cornfields and we are with Chris from the Honest Out Loud channel. I would imagine most of you guys are already following his content. If not though, there will be a link to check him out down below. I saw this gun right here and was immediately drawn to it. I love dictator guns and uh, this is like a dictator 2011 to me. What are yeah. we actually looking at here? So this is a Phoenix Trinity double stack 1911. And this guy is about as tricked out as you can get. This is actually Twista the Rapper's gun. He was down here shooting with me the other day. And I was like, I gotta borrow that from you. And he actually let me borrow it, which I can't believe, because obviously this is not a cheap gun. These retail from somewhere between seven to $10,000. And the reason for that is not only just because of the color, but because of the performance you get out of them. Sure. I mean, once you shoot this, I think you'll understand. But this is a steel framed with a steel grip and a steel slide. It has an island barrel on the top there with a full compensator on both sides. So you're gonna get a shortened slide mass sure. with a full size dust cover and you're gonna have no recoil because it's a nine. Sure, so I don't do a lot of 2011 content mm -hmm. like your viewers do, so try to break down what he just said right there. Okay, so, I'll break it down. <laughs> so, so a lot of 2011s, majority of them have a polymer uh, grip module in them. Some are aluminum. This is all steel, like you said, so it's just much heavier, it's much softer shooting, should be anyway. It's I have a 48 ounce gun. Right, I haven't shot guy. it yet, but I expect it to be. Now the island barrel, explain that to them. What okay, it yeah, so basically it's just, the original idea was to put weight out front and now they've added a compensator and they used to have compensators past the dust cover, but this actually works better because it shortens the slide mass and the less mass you have going back and forth, the better, because the best recoil, or the more or less recoil impulse you feel. And on top of that, the sight stays stationary, the comp stays stationary, but it's not over like it used to be, because you can actually draw these from a holster faster. Yep. You have a little bit less uh, uh, draw time, which is really great. And obviously you still have a rail for lights and lasers and you have all the weight out front. So when you shoot this thing, it barely rises, which is really great. Pair that with a two and a half to two pound trigger, which is really, really incredible. It takes all the shooting aspects out of it. Right. Really. It's a cheat code. It's oh, it definitely is. It's it 100% is. It's buying a cheat code. Then you have a very aggressive grip as well. Yep. So you don't even need to hold on that hard. Yep. <laughs> and the uh, safeties are oversized as well on yep. both sides. Very positive as you would expect. Lightweight hammer, so you get a little lighter trigger pull. Flat shoot trigger. And uh, obviously this thing feels like it is marbles on glass when you're moving it back and forth. Yep. There's really no way to actually convey that through a camera. I've tried over the years, but uh, yeah, it does not feel like a Springfield prodigy, if that makes sense. Yeah, and well, I, these, I, these are handmade, I believe, correct. so yep. Yeah, it's you feel it as soon as you pick it up and start to manipulate the gun, this is something uh, very special, fancy. I'm excited to shoot it. Yep. And uh, The nice thing about the light recoil spring as well is the return, because a lot of times you have a heavy recoil spring, so it lightens the recoil coming back, but then it slingshots the gun forward and right, dips the gun did. down. Right. And if you watch this on slow-mo, it literally just pops up a little and comes back exactly where you shot it. Well, I suppose with that, we'll have to go out there and shoot it and see if what you're saying is actually true. Yeah. Comes with uh, 21 plus one too, which is really great. And you get 27 round magazines for it. Yep, so, and these are staccato pattern, correct? Yep, they are, so, yep. Yeah. And then they're tuned, I believe, by Phoenix. Like a lot of these companies, they don't really make their own stuff. What they do is they'll get STI mags or, S or staccato now, and then they basically just tune it to their gun. They put their spring in it and they put their name on it. Right. But the Gen 2 staccatos are like the standard right now. Right, for sure. So with that, we'll head out to the range. First shots through the gun. Let's see what $10,000 feels like. So first off, I accidentally bumped the safety on with my sport hand grip. Yep. One of the pros and cons, if you will, of having those extended controls. So yep. just know so that. It's extended, so you ride over it. Right, yep, yep for sure. <laughs> that right? is crazy. Yeah. It almost feels like nothing's reciprocating. It's less than a 380. Wow. Yeah. That's what $10,000 feels like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I, I feel like it's not going into battery. There's just yeah. no movement. Okay. <laughs> or maybe, there we go. Ah, what am I doing? Oh, now you got Now we got a malfunction. I actually have a failure that time. Fair enough. Twist is gonna be mad at you. <laughs> I, I'm accidentally bumping that safety. Yep. All right, so. That is crazy. The recoil on that is insane, folks. I mean, I've shot a few 2011s in my day, some high-end ones. That one, I think it's probably the grip that's making the biggest difference as well as just how well fit that is. 
but I mean, it feels like no recoil. So one of the nice things about this is most expensive 2011s are made specifically for competition. So if you run an open, you have to go 38 super right. or nine major. Whereas this one isn't even made for limited options. This one's just made for just to be the best gun you possibly can. Yeah. So they're running all the features you get in an open gun, but nine minor, which is really ridiculous. Right, I mean, that is wild. Yep. Well, I'd fail too. Yeah, it's definitely zeroed. Yeah, it is. All right, so this time I'm gonna to try to not actually bump that safety. Chris gave me some coaching. We will see. <laughs> I'm not used to these fancy guns. Right. I'm out here with my Glock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, that is crazy. And honestly, my grip wasn't as tight as it was would normally be. I was trying to not hit that yep, yep. so a little bit loose and it still is flat. It's like a little submachine gun, isn't it's it? It's crazy. All right, let's move back and see what it can do. Before we step back to the 50 yard line, I need to thank the main channel sponsor and that is Brownells. They're actually one of the reasons I'm in Iowa for the video that you guys are currently watching. I don't think they carry this gun, but they do carry a number of firearms, ammunition, optics, accessories, gunsmithing supplies. So if you're looking for any of those things, check out Brownells. All right, we're at 50 yards. We'll see if this thing's actually zeroed or if I can actually shoot. We'll find out. It's also hot, so that's my excuse. The it gun is itself really is hot. hot. That should matter. Do <laughs> huh? you see where those are going? Nope. Two of them hit. Above. Okay. Left. Yep, you're right. Yep. Wow. Does that oh. target on the left just not ring? No, no, it rings. You're just going a little left, I think. I can't go. Oh, there you go. You're right. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely is shooting uh, high for sure. But I mean, it makes it easy. That's it for does. Sure. Funny. That's how people who shoot at 50 yards frequently shoot at 50 yards. <laughs> You're going lower. I can't see it. Did I just start missing all of a sudden? No. No, you oh, I'm got one. There you go. Okay. Try to hit that plate. Oh boy. I don't know which one. Your left. Left? Left. Damn, I can't you're get right that. over it. I mean, no. you're hovering around it now. Hovering around it? Yep. There, there you, you go. go. There we go. There you go. Four inch plate at 75. Well, do Took it Took me like 10 shots. There you go. Got that C zone. There you go. You cool. hit the A. All right. My All turn. Right. Now we have the gun nice and hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can wait a second. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> now that I shot 40 rounds through it. All right. Let's see here. Yep. Again, bumping that safety. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Neither do I. Got it. No lock back. We're out. I mean, that is impressive though for a gun at 75 yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm Especially not. Especially the ease of being able to do it. Correct, and I don't shoot at distance yeah. like that with pistols. It's just not something I do. So, I mean, to be able to do it relatively easy, relatively consistently, Pretty impressive now. Unfortunately, 
Looks like we had a light primer straight yeah. on it. So Actually. what's interesting is but when we started shooting it, I didn't have any failures, but I've only shot like three or four mags through it. And he told me he didn't have any failures, but you had a double feed, I had a stove pipe, yep. and now a light primer strike, which yep. leads me to believe that that's a lot of problems in one little package right away. It is. If this was my first shots, I'd have been like, eh, I don't know. Right. And yeah. it, I don't like in that. A, in all fairness, it's one type of ammo, but yep. still. Yep. Yeah, not not what I would expect. Yeah, especially not for the price, because a lot of times, like, not trying to be a dick, because Phoenix Trinity, I'm sure, is a great company, but yep. I run Atlases, I run Staccatos, I've ran Infinities, and you definitely see better reliability than what I'm getting right now. But it's early. It's early. We'll keep going. All right, so we've been out here shooting this one today. Like we said, ease of shooting is a given with this gun. It is an understatement, just to say it, hard to convey via the camera. Like we just said, a few malfunctions. It is what it is. We show you guys what happens here on this mm -hmm. channel. That's what we do here. Uh, one thing that's nice about this gun, for sure, I was able to track that front sight. I don't know if it's the island barrel. I don't know, but I could definitely see it the whole time. Additionally, the dot on the SRO, which of course has a larger window than most, I never really lost it. You know, with some guns under recoil, you lose the yeah. dot at the peak and then it comes back in and you have to find it. I never lost it the entire time during recoil. Uh, one thing I noticed that rear sight is that uh, like custom or does that come with the gun? I have to assume it's a plate system. It yep. looks like a plate system that falls in there. Although I'm not sure. A lot of times with like Nighthawk, they ha they slide in. Uh, so it kind of looks like that might be the case. Yeah, it does for the, sure. The cool thing about this optic system as opposed to some of the others, maybe like the Staccato. I love Staccato, but I don't like that they put it too far forward because one of the malfunctions I see a lot with those guns is if you have your optic over the ejection port, sometimes it gets pinned in there. Yep, for sure. And with this, they pushed it back so far. And I think they eliminated kind of a quality iron sight for the purposes of pushing it back. Yeah, I agree. It's minimalist for yep, sure. Yep. And it's gold, which is interesting. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's a little bit different. Yeah. difficult to use. Gold sights are interesting. Uh, but yeah, I really like that grip module. Feels great in the hand, for sure. I have larger hands, as do you. Uh, so it gives you some room there to fill in with your support hand. A lot of guns don't do that for me, so I do like that. Additionally, that checkering up there really helps a lot of guns for whatever reason. They checker down here, but they don't check her up here. Right where your palm's supposed to Correct. be. Correct, and yeah, where you yeah. actually manage recoil with your support hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that one, great job there. I personally would have to train a little bit with those safeties. Yeah. Just, it's, it's everybody me. does. It's not the gun, it's me. So one of the cool things about the 2011 is it is as modular as the Glock. It's not quite as easy to put together, I would yeah. say, but it's real close. So if you guys had like a 2011, like a Prodigy, and you wanted a better grip, I'm, I'm sure you can get these. Cause like with SVI, with uh, uh, Atlas, you can get their grips and put them on. But I mean, the gold color is kind of what attracted me, Same. to be honest 100%. with you. It looks so ridiculous. You can see yourself in it too. Yes, you can. It, what, one thing I didn't mention is the lack of uh, grip safety. Which is my favorite, because I hate grip safety. A lot agree. of times I'll tape them or pin them. And with the uh, more modern, 2011 double stack 1911 grips almost all of them are eliminated which is really nice and on top of that you can actually ride a little higher you can't actually use these high ride safeties with a grip safety and the reason why is because when you're riding high you create a lot of space right there in your hand and a lot of times that grip safety doesn't go off so you see the standard uh safeties with the standard grip safety right yep no it definitely feels much more natural to me didn't yeah. have to worry about it at all and then tons of serrations on the front. So if you want to do a little faster reload in competition, a lot of times guys go like this. That way we can get back on the gun quickly. And you can do that and avoid racking off the optic too, which is nice. Although I rack off the optic all the time. And honestly, if you had a quality mount, you should be able to do that sometimes. Yep. One thing I would say too, is that gun absolutely doesn't lack in accuracy in any way. I can, no. say, I can say that for sure. When I was doing my part, when the dot was where it was supposed to be, the bullet went where it was supposed to be. And again, we should mention, this isn't either of our guns. So, no. <laughs> I mean, it was, shoot, it was shooting good, considering neither one of us zeroed it, so. Agreed. Unfortunately, obviously the big con is the price point. It's probably uh, unrealistic for most people. And honestly, it's not a gun for most people at all. It at is, all. It is yeah, a yeah. race gun. Is it a show gun? It is a gun for a rapper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a man, does it look good on the wall? It, it, 100%. <laughs> the thumbnail for this is going to be fire. I can already yeah. feel it. Um, but yeah, seems to be a really high quality gun. Probably just have to iron out some of those uh, malfunctions we had, but other than yeah. that, good to go. And that's the other thing with 2011s, they're super tunable. So, I mean, they come with giant recoil spring kits, yep. and if you're having issues, a lot of times you just change the recoil spring for the ammunition you're using. I mean, these things are not defensive guns. Right. They're supposed to be perfectly tuned like an Indy car, not like a stock car or a little you know, Chevy Cavalier. Right. I mean, these things have to be tuned, they have to be lubed, and they have to be cleaned. And I'm not the best person for that either, to be <laughs> honest with you. And uh, yeah, overall, I think it performed as well as it could have performed considering we just came out and just shot it randomly. Yeah, quite, yeah, quite yeah. literally. That's 
exactly what happened. Yeah. So with that, guys, we're going to close the video out. Again, if you're not following Chris, I recommend you do so. There will be links down below where you can do so. Uh, additionally, follow me on all my various social media. If this thing actually comes in stock, which I highly doubt it will, but if it does, we'll post it there so you guys can check it out if you're interested. Uh, additionally, sign up for the daily deals email at the website here on the screen. Also, the monthly email that sends all the videos since the previous month. You can sign up for that as well. And uh, there's actually one of these on G Broker. Really? I did check the other day and I thought about buying it. I didn't want to steal Twist the style. So if somebody wants one of these, I'd get to it, it fast. It might be out there. There yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And with that, we'll thank all of you for watching. Thanks to Chris for having me out. And we'll see all of you in the next video.